what's up everybody, Gabriel Santiago here. So this week we're gonna talk about a very, very interesting rhythm from Brazil. This is called Baião. And uh, before we go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the little bell thing and notifications. And this is all my social media stuff, you already know. So uh, let me know what you think, you know, comment on the videos. I'm having so much fun making these videos to you guys. And uh, let me know what you wanna hear next. I'll see you in the next video, bye. All right, so Baião is a rhythm that comes from the northeast of Brazil, place I come from. And of course, we're gonna do a very, very resumed version of what that is. I'm just gonna, you know, give you guys some kind of guideline so you can start from here, you know. Um, don't forget to download uh, the PDF and the play along I made that you're gonna hear, you know, throughout this video. You can download that and practice yourself, you know, and I think you're gonna be pretty helpful. So Baião has a very, very kind of like obligato bass line, which goes kind of like this. Two. That usually never changes, you know, that's kind of the basis of the rhythm. So in the example that follows, you're going to hear me playing some kind of a basic rhythm of Bayon, right? Some kind of a basic uh, standard version of that. And it goes like that. So as you can see, there was some stuff that was, you know, in the downbeat and some stuff that was offbeat, right? Uh, I'm gonna do some slight variations on both of these so you can get a clue on some kind of variations you can do, right? So this is an example of two slight variations you can do with the chords remaining on the downbeat, such as this. And then some variation where everything's kind of upbeat like that. Something like that. So, and, and as you can see, the bass never changes. The bass remains the same. Right? So there's the example. Alright, so in the next example, I'm gonna be sort of exploring each one of those possibilities, right? Uh, the variation where I keep the chords in the downbeat, and the other variation where I keep the chords upbeat, and I'm gonna be diving into both of them. And you're gonna hear me sort of alternating between them, and then I'm gonna mix it up, you know, kind of mix them in a way that it's just one thing but has both of these things together. So there is the example. Cool. So for the last thing, I'm just gonna improvise freely over this progression, and you can definitely hear, you know, all these variations that I'm doing, you know, within the downbeat version and the upbeat variation, and how I mix them up together. 
you know so don't forget to download the PDF and the play along I made for you guys in the description of the video so you can you know check everything out and practice yourself you know so I hope you have fun with that and don't forget to comment on the video and let me know what you think and what you want to hear next because it'd be a pleasure to be you know keep doing these kind of things for you guys so thank you here's the last example <laughs>